Yeah, I'm looking at the box right now. What you mean don't open the box? What? What? Why can't I open the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? I guess you're going to have to check out the show to see what's in the box. Because I've been advised not to open. I hear you. I, 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 okay. I, what's in the box? Alright. You want to chill on the show and find out what's in the box. Peace. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Alright. I'd like to welcome everybody to the morning toast. Sorry for the lateness for those on Facebook. Um, I am doing well, Miss Sheila. And we are on. But I need one more thing. This is, once again, this is my detox experimental blend. We're going to sample a little bit of that. I'm tired of looking at it. You know, the bubbles is constantly going up. I'm wondering what's going on with that. So we're going to sample that before we get off Facebook today. Um, but, all right, so we need to do our toast. I want to say, first off, happy Nia to all of y'all, man. Um, yesterday, my MG was kind of low um i ate a big meal last night i am feeling good the big meal kind of helped me up um held me up this morning if you know what i mean you know what i'm saying but hey i am feeling good i'm feeling blessed so let's go on and, and share this good energy make sure you like and share um so we'll start off with our water Got the chloride oxygen. Let's do our water. If you ain't already did your water. Stay hydrated, people, especially in the summertime. Um, I'm finding, like with this intermittent fasting, that a lot of times that I'm thinking I'm hungry. I'm not really hungry. I'm thirsty. And I'm starting to learn that my body, I don't know if anybody else's body does this, but my body produces a hunger pain to kind of warm your thirst. Not just to because when when by the time it get to my throat being dry, I'm already it's already too late. So my body signals hunger, I mean thirst in the same way it signal hunger. I don't know if anybody else's body is doing that. 
right? You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's, a, it's something good to know, right? Because a lot of times we think we're hungry when, in fact, our body is actually calling out for some agua, right? Sixteen ounces down. Mm. All right, let's get it. Sixteen ounces down. Now we're gonna do the Clorox gin. I keep telling y'all that my piece on um the black sea oil is coming. Is coming <coughs> as well as my thing on that. All right, so I put the chloroxygen in, pouring it up. We're going to sip it out. What's up, Brother Jay of the X-Clan? Great morning to you, sir. Great Nia. Stay hydrated, family. All right, we're about to get into this toast. I'm going to finish this last little bit. All right, this morning, we are going to be toasting with that tart Cherry Ambrosia family. Peace, God. Great to see you this morning. All right, so we're going to pour our libations for those of you that have people that you want me to toast. You know what I'm saying? Feel free to post them up for the new people out there. And even if, even if you don't catch me live, right? Post them up. I write them down. Other people um, that might be following will write them down. We need to start pouring for our personal ancestors. We pouring for personal ancestors um, on these mornings, right? So I'm pouring this ambrosia for those that don't know what ambrosia is. Ambrosia is basically it's called June. Green tea and honey, but it belongs to the kombucha family. All right, here we go. First call on the creator by whatever name you choose to call it creator. We call that great force. Um, even though we already know that force is here and it's with us and it's within us, we call that force and we salute that force and we say, Ashe. From there, we move to our personal ancestors. We call on our grandmothers and our grandfathers, our uncles and our aunts, our mothers and our fathers, our brothers and our sisters our friends, our nieces and our nephews, if they made their transition, we call on the energy because we realize that hell for African is being forgotten and we strive to never forget our ancestors. So we call on those personal ancestors. You know what I'm saying? We call on our personal bloodline because we know that we're generational people, which means that I'm coming back through the same bloodline from which I left. So that means that I need to make sure that I leave the world better so that when I come back, if for nothing else, when I come back, I'm coming back in a better situation, right? So we pour for our ancestors. We remember them because they thought for us when we couldn't think for ourselves. They fed us when we couldn't feed ourselves. They changed us when we couldn't change ourselves. They took us to the bathroom. They taught us how to use the bathroom. They taught us what to eat. They taught us what not to eat. Right. Some of y'all was lucky enough to be able to get out into the garden, into the woods with some of your ancestors. And they was able to point out those healthy plants. You know what I'm saying? So we want to toast those ancestors that took the time with us. We want to toast those ancestors that taught us. Right. I mean, when I first ran into No More Axe, man, No More Axe was sitting at the African Center, scared the hell out of me. Right. But, but. He was able to touch my heart and I came back and I kept coming back. So we toast our ancestors, right? That took the time to, to teach us, that made the sacrifices teach us because some of the stuff that some of our ancestors taught us, we know they wasn't getting paid for. So we salute them. 
You know, I'm going to go down my personal family line. If you have people you want to share, you know what I'm saying, put on the top line. I'll toast to my live right now as well. So I'm going to call on Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robert and Texana Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia William Walton, Christopher Fanny Gatson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis. Um, we call on um, my Aunt Alvira, Alvira Brown, um, uh, my Aunt Gina. We call on um, Jamon Jones. We call on uh, Jeremiah Tappan, we call on um, um, John Fillard, we call on um, we call on oh my god, we call on Mama Malika we call on Normal X, we call on Sapat Sup Ma Ra we call on um, oh peace Miss Jackson how you doing this morning um, we call on Oh, Dr. Mary Ann Williams. We call on Elder Donaldson. We call on Elder um, Harrison. We call. Oh my God, just hit me. We call on Tony Clark. I mean, I, you know, I call on Tony Clark. Let me tell y'all. Listen, tell tell stories to your children about your ancestors. Tony Clark was a man who stepped in for me when I was. In middle school, he taught me Taekwondo and became like a father to me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like I, I, all this time I've been toasting, I didn't even toast this dude. See, this is what I'm talking about. Passing you southwest and I toast them. You know what I'm saying? Shout out your ancestors, family. Teach your children about, about the family line. All right? And then on top of this, this is what I'm finding out. Sometimes when you go through your family line and like we do and doing a situation like this, you see somebody pull somebody up, you might find out you related to somebody because some of us is related. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, you know, some of y'all might be kicking it with your cousins, uh, you know, but hey, it is what it is. We toast our ancestors, our personal ancestors, and we say, I say, from there, we move to our children. Our children's children on to infinity. We know that everything we do, we know that everything we build, family, right now, all the thoughts that we are thinking, all the projects that we are starting, all the goals that we're reaching for, is not just for us, it's for our children. So we toast them in advance so that they can toast us. We toast the ones that are alive now, and we toast the ones to come, because some of us, we might not be making no more kids like myself, but we got grandkids, and we're going to have great-grandkids. We already left our legacy here, so we toast them, and we remember, and we say, I say, last but not least, right, I toast you, right? You know what I'm saying? It's important that we sometimes be selfish with our prayers and our libations. We need to remember ourselves. I toast any challenges that you have. I toast, I ask the Creator ancestors to step in for you. Because sometimes some of us won't even ask the Creator to help us, right? Because of our pride. So I ask for you. I ask our Creator and I ask our ancestors to intercede for you, right? You know what I'm saying? To bless you, to make your way smooth, right? Not to remove your obstacles, right? But to give you the insight to break them motherfuckers down, right? Toasting for grown folks, by the way. So we toast and we say, I say, I say, I say, family, I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. That tart cherry is tart. They call it tart cherry for a reason. Mmm. Oh, man. Peace, Brother Kwame. You have a great day. Um, all right. So, we've been looking at this for the last week. For those that's new to the, to the, to the, to, to the uh, toast, you know, I, I sampled new and different varieties on the show. This one right here, I call it my detox mix. 
for those that's been following my show on YouTube, y'all know that I've been, like last week, we did a whole series, a whole two days talking about parasites. And I got paranoid. So I said I had to come up with something to deal with these parasites. So I got two drinks, but I need to come up one with that ambrosia. Right? So I needed a live drink. So what I'm going to do right now is sample this. Uh, this has various herbs in it. So I don't know how this is going to taste. I never did this one before. I mean, y'all see me do the daily one, but I never did it in, in ambrosia. So I'm going to sample it right now. Uh, thanks for sharing, Brother Kwame. So we are going to sample the Detox Ambrosia. The only thing that's missing is the Death Eater because I, I like to add the Death Eater to anything that I'm, I'm going to call a Detox. Ooh, all right. So in here is the cinnamon. Y'all know I'll be using the cinnamon. That kills parasites. We got the cayenne to speed up the process, get the blood flowing. We got the turmeric. I got actual turmeric root in there. I got thyme in there. And I have some ambrosia as well as some ambrosia vinegar. That's right. I make my own damn vinegar. All right. I don't know, fam. I let it sit for a while, so we about to see. Oh, I also got black seed in there, right? You see the little seeds floating around. Not bad. Not good either. But shit, detox ain't supposed to be good. I taste a little bit of everything in there. Damn, it's burning my chest. I'm not going to need to make that. Ooh. detox y'all all right black seed black seed oil black seed oil is well actually i got the black seeds in there i don't have the black seed oil i got the actual black seed black seed is a herb that supposedly does everything i'm supposed to, i'm gonna be um reviewing the black seed oil because i was taking the black seed oil black seed is um oh hold on Black seed. Front of you, ask brother Kwame. I, I, I got some information so that I can review when I do my. All right, black seed oil has phyto chemicals uh, they say it helps with apathy, Alzheimer's disease autism, glaucoma dementia myasthenia gravis and neodegenerative conditions um, they say it helps with cancer liver health diabetes Um, bloating, constipation, flushing of skin, gas, indigestion, heartburn, heartache, nail changes, metallic taste in mouth, muscle pain, stomach pain, helps with weight loss, helps strengthen the hair, and it is good for the skin. Um, uh, it they say it's real, it's real good because of the of the phytochemicals and. The, the antioxidant property of it. Alright? So, I'm not... Um, now, let me tell you this. In my experience, 
Well, I'm gonna save it for I'm, I'm gonna have to save it for the video family. So, shouts out to Mr. Uh, DeWitt. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for joining us. But hey, so I'm about to get up off of Facebook. You know, cause I gotta finish this. I gotta finish my thing for YouTube. But today we're gonna be talking about why I do what I do. Right now, this is in an effort to motivate you to do what you do. So this show will be airing at about 9 a.m. I'm gonna be done with it by 9 a.m. All right. You have a wonderful day too, Miss Sheila. Uh, you know what? Yeah, it can, yeah. As a matter of fact, those of you that order your ambrosia, yeah, I could put almost I could put anything in the ambrosia as long as it's not poisonous. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I could add black seed to your ginseng. Definitely. Matter of fact, um dude, you got the you you might want to try it with that floating ginseng root. You know what I'm saying? This is a little bit we had to we had to talk. But we're gonna work something out. I'll work something out for you. But um Facebook, we about to get up, get out, right? So we get um so I get over here and talk with my YouTube fam. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. Thank you for stopping in. You know what I'm saying? It's always a wonderful day. Um, um, especially when I'm able to get up and toast with some beautiful and powerful people um, like y'all. Oh, uh, Mr. DeWitt, I am shipping. I will be doing my first package today or tomorrow morning. One or the other. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm shipping. So yeah, we definitely could talk. Um, um, those that don't know what the Ambrosia is, I will post up uh, a link so that you can get an idea, a better idea about the Ambrosia and some of the health benefits. And with that, I say peace in 100 years, Facebook. break that you get um, for uh, um, so rather than just drinking the oil straight I'm going to still oil that but I'm going to take the oils and I'm going to put them in my little drink so I'm making a drink so that you can have a break in between the actual um, pouring Detox formula, right? But y'all seen I sample my stuff, so I gotta, I gotta hit. So now I'm gonna start making that detox formula, so I won't have to do this. I can take little shots of the detox formula, and uh, that, that ambrosia detox, right? And I can work it out to where now. I could do my health drink every morning. Well, I mean, I'll do a health drink every morning, but I could do a detox, you know, from time to time. You know, it's always good to detox, family. Make sure you detox. So now, instead of us having to do this every day, some of y'all going to be able to order that ambrosia and detox yourself. All right? So I'll see y'all on the other side. Was a little bit different this time, wasn't it? Alright. Hey, fam. So, I got that for the future. Alright. So, we got the drinks together. Got that. Need to move that up out the way. Clean out the table. Got a little bit of extra water so when I do my drink. Alright. Family. So, now. Nia, yeah, man, it's a great day. So I get right back on to the principles. You know, every now and then I'm straight off the principles. Today I'm talking about why I do what I do. Um, this is an effort to get you to start doing what you're doing. Because right now, the world is suffering. And the world is suffering because you have not started doing what you're supposed to be doing. I know that sounds crazy, family. Right? The world is suffering 
because you are, 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 are robbing the world of your beauty. You're robbing the world of your power. You're not, you, you may not be following your purpose. And because you are not following your purpose, the whole world is out of sync. I ain't saying that the war that's going on is serious because you're not following your purpose, but that's a that's a direct possibility. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that Donald Trump messing with the Russians is a result of you not doing what you was born to do, but it's a direct possibility. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I I'm not saying that they about to get rid of Frank Doc. You know that whatever that. That Frank Doc or whatever in Congress they discuss it right now. I'm not saying that's because of you not following your purpose, but it's a direct possibility, fam. Right? This is the issue. Right? I do what I do because it's my responsibility. It's my responsibility to do what I do. I have no choice. And I know y'all like, brother, I tell you, what are you talking about? Y'all got to understand this, right? I've been doing YouTube for about eight years. <laughs> and I got 117 viewers. And now I'm up to the point where I'm vlogging every day. And I got I got people telling me, brother, I tell you, you crazy. You crazy. I, I got a podcast that I've been doing longer than I've actually been doing YouTube, right, that I be, that I do uh, every Coochie Chocolate and Ujima, right, you know, um, uh, at nine, back to back, I do the shows, and I've been doing it for years, you know what I'm saying, I got a show called Freestyle Fridays that I just, I stopped doing for a while, right, and I might start doing that again, right, I've been blogging. I've been blogging longer than I've been podcasting, right? And I'm just now getting people reading, or at least I think it. I, sometimes I just think it's internet crawlers that's on my site, and I've been doing it, family, right? I've been doing it, and, 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 and I do it with a passion. I've been writing books, right? And, you know, I ain't sold too many. You know what I'm saying? I got a... You know, I ain't sold, ain't sold a lot. You know what I'm saying? I done put together uh, speeches and, and, and I done came up with meditation techniques. I, I I changed the days of the week and I created a Inguza Saba challenge trying to get my people aligned with my culture. I've been studying my culture for a very long time and people been looking at me like you crazy as hell. I've been helping people my whole life. You know what I'm saying? People are like you crazy as hell. You could be doing other things. You could be you could be making money. You know what I'm saying? But I do it because I have to do it. I don't know if you ever, I don't know if you ever had something on you that you have to do. Right? I have to strive to educate people, right? I was born to talk. I was born to do this. You know, I was born for this tech. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's crazy that this technology is, is, is in my life because my whole life I've been looking for opportunity to be in front of a camera. And I'm able to be in front of a camera that sits in my pocket. I'm able to have my own radio show. I'm able to write on a consistent basis and possibly have people read it. I'm able to share my ideas. I have to do it. Right? And I'm driven to do it. I can't rest if I don't. And I got people like you crazy. Ain't nobody listening to this shit. Ain't nobody watching this. Ain't nobody going to drink. You know what I'm saying? You coming up with drinks. You talking crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to find out if it's Monday. You keep on talking about emoji. Motherfucker, what's wrong with you? I'm possessed. I'm possessed by Nia, right? I, I, I've applied purpose to my life. I have a purpose. I was born to bring value to other people's lives. I was born to, to, to create a, a drink that can help you. I was born to write my blog. I was born for this shit, right? I was made for this. 
And for me to do anything else would be for me to blaspheme against myself. And many people around me are constantly blaspheming against themselves. They're constantly pushing themselves into a situation that they don't really want to be. They're forcing themselves to do shit that they don't like every day. And I get to wake up and passionately express myself to y'all and get views, get comments, and y'all energy feeds me, and hopefully my energy is feeding you, and y'all, y'all, y'all comments and, and y'all views bring value to my life, and hopefully I'm bringing value to your life, because I was born to do this. I do what I do because I ain't got no goddamn choice. Because if I don't inform people about the black seed, or if I don't inform the people that's with me, who going for? If I don't inform them about the power of fermentation and the power of this uh, being able to make this, to make this, I ain't gonna call it a medicine, to make this maintenance drink in your house. That can possibly help you with a lot of these autoimmune diseases, right? I mean, last night I decided to say, shit, my goal, my goal is to eliminate autoimmune diseases in my friends and family within my tribe. Let's put it this way. Within my tribe, I want to get rid of that shit. Everybody that's Jami or associated with Jami, I want to be able to help them eliminate any diseases that have to do with the digestive system, that have to do with the gut. That's that's another per part of my purpose now. I, my purpose keeps expanding, but they all lead back to me doing something like this. And I'm challenging you and I'm calling on you and I'm saying, family, find your purpose. And when you find your purpose, do it even if you ain't going to get paid for it. Do it even if nobody listening. Doing it even if nobody's watching. Do it. Because in you doing it, you put something in the world. You put something in the world that is beautiful. And all of us, we need a little beauty in our lives. Even when people complaining, right? I push through that shit. It's nothing to me. I've been like this my whole motherfucking life. I've been different my whole life. And I'm not I'm not gonna stop being different so I can make you feel comfortable. And neither should you. There's nothing more beautiful than somebody doing something they was born to do. There's nothing more powerful than somebody doing something they was born to do. And family, I want you to do what you was born to do so that you could bring value to the world. I was once told, you know, my father, when I was, uh, when I was younger, you know, um, I, I met my father and I, one of the first things he picked up about me was he said, dang, you always talking about money, you always, and I was never talking about it in the hustler, illegal fashion. I was always talking about being a businessman and, and you know, coming up with some idea to, 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 to become rich. Because I like taking care of people. I like taking care of myself. And, you know, um, so I ain't seen my dad for a few years. And one day I, I, I I seen him here in Columbus, and uh, we were talking, and the conversation led around that they say you still trying to get rich. You know, I've been consistent about my shit, right? But I, 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 I don't even remember why I got into the conversation about my dad. Maybe the ancestor wanted to be acknowledged, see, so I let, so I called him out, but. My dad recognized something in me that I had been doing since I was young. And I want to bring that up to let y'all know that I've been consistent about doing what the fuck I'm doing. I never felt that I had to get over on a motherfucker to really get rich. As a matter of fact, I always try to avoid that. Right? 
So people that come in my life and might complain about what I do or don't like what I do or, or you know what I'm saying? It don't bother me and and, and I'm gonna be inspiration for you because this is this is what you need to understand. Even if you think nobody is watching, even if you think nobody is paying attention, somebody is. Right? And what you teach them in your reaction to those, if you stop because the world tells you to stop doing your thing, you teach them how to quit. There's some person or some child looking at you and hoping that you don't give up your dream because when you give up your dream you give them permission to give up theirs and how many of us to help children kill their own dreams how many of us have killed our own dreams because we've been practical being practical but in us being practical we're totally miserable family, you know what I'm saying, because this is what's crazy, on one ear I got, you need to change what you're doing, you need to boom, 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 but on the other side, something always comes into my presence that makes it possible for me to continue doing what I'm doing, the support network that comes from this is incredible. It's incredible for me just following my purpose and for me inspiring other people to follow their purpose and for me it's it's family there's nothing better than you doing what you was born to do I'm just letting you know get your ass up and start doing it this is brother high Tim saying I wish you peace power joy in 100 years and I'm saying get on your knee if you get on your knee, she will provide for you. If you get on your knee, she will make sure you eat. If you get on your knee, right? If you get on your knee, family, I'm telling you right now, your whole life will change. All right? So, I got a blog post with this. Check it out. So, this is Brother Tim. Oh, you get the blog at uh, giamijourney.com. Read the credits below. Leave a comment, goddammit. Like and share. Let's spread the love. Help me build up the channel. Let's build up the channel. Right? Peace. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there. The fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you. Right there. And... For those that want more information about Jamie Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there. Peace.